Live from Studio 3K and Rockefeller Center, you're watching Sports Final on NBC for New York. Here's your host, John Chandler. Well, the Jets made it interesting against the Chargers, but they still made it to 0-10, losing 34-28 in Los Angeles. Near wins in their last two games. You know, maybe years from now, with Trevor Lawrence at quarterback for the Jets, we'll look back and see these as crucial losses on the path to the top pick in 2021. Who knows? Let's welcome Dennis Wazak into the Sports Final Spotlight, which is brought to you by Infinity. Visit your tri-state area Infinity retailer for a test drive today. Dennis Wazak from the Associated Press staying up with us here tonight, and let's get this out of the way officially. The Jets, Dennis, eliminated from playoff contention in 2020, so it is on to 2021. And for many fans, it has been on to 2021 for quite a few weeks now. Uh, they're hoping that they go 0-16 at this point. It's just kind of a weird dynamic this season where you have a lot of fans who, at this point, they're, they're all in on 2021. You know, a, a loss is better now in their minds to a lot of fans. And it's a weird kind of, like I said, a weird dynamic. Um, they want 0-16 so they could get that number one pick in April. And that's got to be so hard for players out there. Joe Flacco, uh, you know, you think about Frank Gore, who is now, what, the first to rush for a touchdown in three different decades. That's got to be tough for those guys. Yeah, definitely. And after the game, uh, Frank Gore was talking about, hey, you know, I don't know if I have a next year. I don't know what it's going to be like after this. And this is not how I want to go out. I don't want to go out 0-16. And you can't blame the players. Um, they, they don't want to lose. You know, no player wants to – any competitor – you don't want to lose. So this is really a tough thing. And to kind of know that there are fans out there who want them to lose, that's just kind of the year. It, it, it kind of fits in with this whole 2020 year, you know? Uh, halftime, Adam Gase on the broadcast was said to have taken over the play calling duties. He said afterwards he did not. Maybe low-key, he never relinquished it to begin with. I don't know where that stands. But whatever they did in the second half, it kind of worked. Three touchdown drives of 70-plus yards, and they got guys involved that, that we haven't seen much of. Chris Herndon, for one, we thought we were going to see a big year from him, and he got involved today. He was a key going into the season. The offensive coaches, Gase, uh, Dow Loggins, the offensive coordinator, talked about Chris Herndon being a vital part of this offense, helping it run. And um, he just, things weren't clicking for him. He was dropping. And even in that first half, he had a big drop. And then in the second half, well, he just came back. He made, that. it was a terrific catch. He had two really good catches, athletic catches. The touchdown went up. So that's the kind of thing that they thought they would see consistently from Chris Herndon this season. Denzel Mims, uh, I, you probably want to throw it to him a little bit more. I don't, I'm not an, I don't pretend to be an offensive. Well, I do pretend to be an offensive coordinator on Twitter, certainly. All but, of us do. No, we all do, right? But uh, three catches, 71 yards. He was targeted eight times. Uh, you know, he he looks like a real deal. And, yeah. and I don't know if, you know, fans envisioning Lawrence to Mims in their future, but certainly the Jets have to like what they see from him. No doubt about it. I, I think when you look at the physical – just the, what he brings, the physical attributes and the skill set. Uh, he's a guy that could be a potential dominant type receiver, a guy, maybe not a, a prototypical number one, but a guy you'll be able to count on who can, you know, who he reminds me of, John, a little bit of Brandon Marshall, you know, and, and, and that, I mean, that's saying a lot there, but he's physical, he's big, he fights for the ball. And that's what you want to see out of that type of receiver. And whether it's Darnold or Flacco or, or Trevor Lawrence, that will be a guy that those guys will definitely rely on in the future. Certainly looks like they got it right with him, with Makai Becton. I know he's had some, some injury issues throughout the year, but I think there's some reason for hope there that they, they drafted right. I know when you look across the field and you see Justin Herbert and, and, and then you think about Sam Darnold and the situation there in with him and you just, you just man, that, that's a young quarterback who looks legit. Uh, and you wonder if the Jets are, are headed in a different direction. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. You look at Herbert and just the way he throws the ball and one of those touchdown passes to Keenan Allen, just the laser. And that, if you're a Jets fan, you've been dying to have a quarterback like that for years, for decades, for some fans, you know. And um, you've seen it in spurts with different quarterbacks over the years. And you hoped you saw that in Sam Darnold and he showed flashes, but not enough. I mean, it's hard to try to evaluate Sam Darnold when he can't get back on the field, you know, and he's yeah. four games this year. He missed three last year, three the year before. Um, 
it's just it's such a tough situation because I think there's a lot of talent there. I like yeah. what he has, you know, and and he handles the spotlight well. Will we see Sam Darnold this week? Is he going to practice, and is there a chance maybe he could play on Sunday? There was some optimism from Adam Gase, uh, surprisingly, on Friday when he said that, you know, he thought – Things were looking good uh, with Sam's shoulder. And, and you know, I, I think Darnold wants to play. And there was some talk that maybe he doesn't want to play because he's thinking about his future and, you know, what does he have to, you know, to lose or win or gain by playing again this year. I, the guy's a gamer, and I think that's another thing that they like about him. And he is tough, you know, and he wants to play. Um, I, I just don't know that um, you're going to be able to make a real evaluation on Sam Darnold moving forward, you know, the, the schedule is daunting over the mm. last, you know, six games. It has been a year. <laughs> it has <laughs> yeah, been, for I sure. mean, for, for you and for the Jets, we appreciate you staying up late with us and helping us cover it and try to make sense. Anytime, Joe. Thank you so much. <laughs> and you saw we put the schedule up there. Just one of the Jets' remaining opponents under 500 right now, the Patriots, last game of the season.